Hey y'all and welcome to Country Roots Farm. We just had our house site and driveway does, so we need to throw out some grass so we don't create a huge mud pile. I'm very excited. <laughs> Before today, we only had the little hand tool that you push and it throws out a little bit of seed as you work it across the ground. That would have been exhausting because this is mud. So pushing little tires would have been so tiring. But Tractor Supply had these little pull behind seeders. It was $180 and we talked about it. We will use it way more than one time. We have so much land that we're going to be clearing and seeding and continuing, seed and continuing to seed things once animals are present on the land. So we thought this would just go ahead and be a little investment for the property. And let me show you how this thing works. It's awesome. So this is where he's been, if you can see the little seeds at all. So it is really even coverage. The cedar attaches to the three-point PTO on the tractor, but it can also attach to an ATV or a lawnmower. Can pull it because it's not actually using the PTO to run it. It's just the wheels turning. But the nice thing about the tractor is we threw the extra bags of grass in the bucket, and so we just carry it with us. And when the cedar runs out of seeds, you just pour them in there. lever on the cedar controls the opening at the bottom of the cedar to say how much seeds are going to fall through. So you can close it off or you can leave it open depending on the size of your seed. You can adjust it. PTO when they're not hooked to anything, these will just slap around and do whatever they want. So to kind of hold them together and just say like stay put, bungee them. That was really smart, hun. We are just spreading the seeds and seeing if they will grow. The nutrients in our soil is still there, even though we had the land dose because the dosing company that we use uses root rakes, which leaves the nutrients in the soil. It worked. There is grass growing. This is the food plot area, so this is a lot of wheat and a perennial grass and then this is the house site this is about a week of letting the grass grow on its own so thanks for watching please like and subscribe see you later and this is what it looks like after just a few weeks from planting